hello guys welcome back to the ctx cloud this is the video number one in our vam training series so vam stands for the workspace environment manager and with the help of vam you guys can manage user profiles apart from that you can manage your user printer and there are some registry settings which you guys can push from the vam apart from that there is like uh, uh, video optimization so from the web you guys can optimize your server videos and desktop videos for the faster logon process these all things we are going to see in our upcoming videos so first of all we are going to see four more main components of web so first of all is web broker so basically it is a infrastructure service which is uh, which manages all the settings of web so basically it connects between your sql server and your server vds and desktop vds so it's provide the brokerage between both the, the things so whenever you do any changes so this will save in your database and the same settings whenever uh, you are want to apply on some of the vds so this is going to capture all these settings and applies on the server vds or your desktop vds the second is one is vam administration console so from vam administration console you guys can manage all the settings of vam like you guys can manage your profiling settings you guys can manage what are the things you want to apply let's say you want to remove start menu from the vam um, from your vds so these all things you guys can manage from the web administration console apart from that if you want to give any uh, any access to the any you uh, citrix administrator or you guys can give uh, the access of web to any user so all these settings you guys can manage from the web administration console the next one is web agent agent so web agent basically we install in our vds or you guys can say that your server vds or desktop vds so it will basically apply all the settings which we are going to apply from our web brokers uh, infrastructure server so basically let's say i have applied uh, one server uh, one print server that this particular uh, print server or this particular printer is uh, going to map on my server vds so all these settings it will capture from the web infrastructure server and it will apply on the vds right so and also it will capture all the cpus ram input uh, like disk input output man management so all these settings it is going to capture from the vds and it is going to provide all these information to the infrastructure server the next one is citrix license server so without citrix license appropriate citrix license you guys cannot manage a web so there is like platinum or premium license which is required for the web so all these things which you required to configure the web so again i am telling one the main important uh, component you require to configure web is sql server then second one is web infrastructure server the third one is web agent which we are going to deploy on our images and on our uh, physical desktops or you guys can say that persistent desktops so these are the main components which is required to configure uh, the web and of course the license server without license server you guys cannot manage web so i'm going inside my lab because today i am we are i'm going to configure web infrastructure server so how you guys can manage this and how you guys can configure this so let me go inside my, my lab so you guys can see that this is my sql server and here you guys can see that i have already some databases created but there is no web uh, database here so again we are going to configure this for a web server the next one is this is like web server which i have created a new this is a newly built web, uh, server which i have given that ctx web server 01 so this is the web server 01 which i am going to configure the next server i am going to create is ctx web server 02 and on both the servers i am going to load balance these servers on the net scaler which you guys can see on my upcoming videos so first of all let's say i have mounted this vam in vam uh, iso here so first of all you guys need to check the connectivity between your sql server to your vam server after that you guys need to uh, 
uh, let me check first the connectivity cmd and just try to ping your sql server which is ping and i am going to copy here so make sure if you, you have, do not have the appropriate connectivity between your web and sql server so this is not going to work so i have tried to ping this server, uh, server and you guys can see that ping is uh, it is pingable after that you guys need to check the connectivity between your license server so this is my license server so i'm going to copy here and just try to ping ping and just paste this so okay so my license server connectivity is also fine and the next next connectivity you guys need to check for your ad server so again i am going to check the connectivity between my ad server so guys before you guys before you go are going to configure vam so i always recommend check these settings because otherwise it will give an error and it is very difficult to i mean fix those errors so make sure you have everything up up and running before you guys going to configure the web database so now my old connectivity is fine now i'm going to inside my web iso and here you guys need to select this one Citrix workspace environment manager infrastructure service setup okay so just click on run as administrator so you guys can see that the setup has been started here and it will take like few minutes to configure so click on i accept click on next 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 and click on install so now it is going to pop up a wizard where you guys need to configure uh, where you guys need to give the information about your database so where you are going to create the database of this web, ser web server so you guys need to click on create and database click on next here you guys need to give the fully qualified domain name of your sql server so i am going to click here i am going to copy this sql server just paste it here and type ctx cloud dot in after that you guys need to give the name what is what is the name you want to give this uh, database so i am going to give vem db so vem database click on next click on next and here you guys need to initial administrator group which is uh, like which who which uh, the administrator which uh, can access this vem so click click on uh, select and here i am giving the access to all my domain admins so search for domain admin okay so now it's accepted domain admins so click on ok click on next and click on create database so you guys can see that it start creating creating a main database and you guys can see that it start creating the database into the sql server so i will show you the database in few seconds so just stay connected with me so guys see i am showing everything online so i'm not i have not paused this video i have not done anything in the background so everything is in front of you so that's my main perspective that you guys will learn on the real sticksness scenarios so click on finish and now you guys can see that my database has been created so click go on your database and click try to refresh this click on database and you guys can see that when that db is here now you guys need to click on close click on yes so already my database has been created now you guys need to click on citrix and click on database management utility now this one just wait uh, click on citrix and then infrastructure configuration so this is the things you guys need to open after that here you guys need to give database server and instance so i am going to give again fully qualified domain name of my sql server so just paste it here then ctx cloud dot in then 
uh, your instance of uh, vem so the vem which we have created so vem db those so that's the instance we have created for the vem infrastructure now again you guys need to click on network settings so these are the default ports which is required for the vem so administration console works on port number 8284 agent service work on 8286 cache sync work on 8285 vem monitoring services is again works on 8287 and cache data synchronization port is 8238 so make sure you guys will note this port sometimes interviewer will ask this about these ports so you guys can note down and you guys can re uh, remember this after that click on advance and there is nothing to do here only you guys need to check click enable and click on infrastructure um, accounts so i am going to give is ctx cloud slash administrator so this is like we are giving the access to first time of this user and after that click on database so enable schedule database maintenance so i'm not going to click here the next and main setting is your uh, uh, license server for the citrix so just click on properties and paste it here and click on save configuration yes so now it is saving all the configurations after that you guys need to click on vem management console from where we are going to manage this vem server so click on run as administrator and it is going to install our vem administration console so click on next i accept click on next and click on next and then install click on finish now we are going to see our vem administration console click on this console and it will it will take like few seconds to load click on connect here you guys need to select your local host because all the uh, infrastructure services and, and database has been created in sql and all the services are running on this server so that's why i am going to click on localhost otherwise you can you guys can give the fully qualified dev domain name of your vem infrastructure if you are installing this console on any other client server so click on connect and you guys can see that now my vem administration console has been appeared so make sure guys if you do not have the appropriate citrix license so this will give an error that you do, you do not have the appropriate license to use this web infrastructure services so these are some settings uh, which is like administration console from here you guys can see that uh, these are the groups where i have the access on this so if you want to give any access to the user so from here you guys can add any simple user let's say i am adding this user srn click on check names and click on ok so you guys can see that my next uh next user has been added but you guys can see that the state is read only so here from here you guys can edit the state and here you from here you guys can give the full access or read only access or anything so i am going to full access and click on global administrator click on enable and click on apply so you guys can see that the cross check has been disappeared and now this user have the full administration access to access this uh, vem console so guys this is the end of our first video if you like this video just press the like button apart from that if you have any questions just put your comment questions in the comment section i will try to reply all the comments apart from that if you guys do not subscribe my channel so just subscribe my channel so that you guys can get the latest notification on the web training apart from the netskiller training and pvs training so thank you guys and stay connected with the ctx cloud